About 1957, 58, I talked to Dr. Culver about the possibility of organizing a small singing group. And I thought we'd call them the Madrigal Singers at first. And the reason it was changed later to the Northwesterners was because of the USO tour. And if I remember correctly, I think there were about 200 schools that applied and only 14 were chosen. And so we were very surprised when we got this letter telling us that we had been chosen and that we'd be going on a eight week oriental tour to Japan and Taiwan and to Korea, to Okinawa and to Iwo Jima. We didn't tell very many people that we we're gonna apply for this. Uh, Dr. Riley encouraged that we make this application because he said, actually the GIs should get some good music. Most of the, the GIs for whom we sang were about the ages of the ones in the group. And the GIs were, were just very, very responsive. So that was really great to see their, their reaction to our concerts. Music has really played a big part, I think, in the history of Northwest Nazarene University. And uh, it's been such a, a delight for me to be here and to be associated with the department. It's been my life. And it's, it's been a part of, you know, what I've really enjoyed more than anything else. <laughs>